Hey everybody, Ben here for the Bodo Podcast, and we've got a cool unbox and review for you today. It's a few weeks late because of holiday and tournaments and how long Forge World takes to deliver stuff sometimes, but we're going to be having a look at the newest, biggest boy on the block, Glottal Stop. Okay, so Glottal Stop is one of the new star players from Spike 15, the Amazon version. He's a strength six Croxagor with Frenzy. The guy is absolutely madness on the Blood Bowl pitch. He's not a cheap star, but when you can get him, he's going to throw some damage dice, basically, which is pretty cool. So Forge World, he is available for £31 plus postage at the moment and comes in a fair few pieces. Now, Forge World, before we go any further is resin and when it comes to working with resin especially non-printed resin when you buy it make sure you give it a wash before you use it because of the grease that's used in mold release now the forge world ones have never been too bad from my opinion but uh, from my experience even but actually it's not worth risking so chuck it in a lukewarm water with a bit of dish soap and uh, brush it off a bit let it soak clean it up let it dry which i've already done so We've got our model ready to build, ready to look at, and we've got the instructions on the back here. Now, the cool thing about the way Forge World do things is uh, once you've got over the fact that they like to hide their uh, product in a box that you can't really open without just, you know, using many knives. And this is probably not the right way to do it, especially not on camera, because that's just risking disaster. But um, oh, can we get it out of the box? That went badly. There we go. Uh, you get the cool bit of paper and inside the bit of paper, which I've been, there's a camera there. Use the camera. You do get the rules for the star player. Uh, I advise being very careful with the clamshell pack. It is sharp. It is, uh, yeah, things get broken too. And you really do need the instructions. So nine pieces for Glottal Stop. And when it comes to working with resin from Games Workshop, you are going to have these big old chunky jersey barriers. Now, I've seen a lot of people use these to kind of mount the model on and, uh, and prime and paint each of the pieces individually. You can definitely do that. However, I think you can see from, um, from these first shots two things I think we can notice. One is that the casting is really crisp this time around. It looks like it's been edge highlighted. Like it looks really, really lovely. So that's a massive boon towards it. In fact, all the most recent Games Workshop star players have been really nice. Uh, the casting quality, I mean, look at the detail on the arms here. That is phenomenally good casting for resin. That is blooming lovely, actually. That is the upside. The downside here is, and I think this is probably the biggest piece for this, is there's a ton of flash. Now, the model is, is not the uh, most complicated one we've seen. We do have an individual piece of chain here, which, to be fair to them, has been cast really nicely. But we've got a single piece of resin there that we're going to need to attach. And if you look here, you've got these... Um, these bits of flash that are holding it in place. So we're going to have to be careful when gluing it. You're going to need to use super glue for resin as well. But okay, so far, casting quality, brilliant, but a lot of flash to trim off. Now, this model comes in nine pieces, which as far as Games Workshop goes, isn't too bad. And he's a big old lad as well. So I'm hoping that once we cut away these points of flash, we'll have some reasonable contact points for glue. We've also got Boa Constricted to look at, and he is a lot thinner, a lot skinnier than Glottal Stop. So contact points on this one, pretty great. Now, we're going to have to be careful with the resin. We're going to have to make sure that we, come on, I say carve it away. If you look at the thickness of these um, resin pour slots, it's it's it's... <laughs> You could probably have cast two of these models with all of the leftover resin, which is quite entertaining and probably explains the price. Right, he is of literally no use to us in pieces, so let's build him. Okay, there you have it. He is all built. Now, it is a resin model, so there's going to be gaps in the model. So, 
you, you're gonna have to be patient with me here guys if you wanted to prep this model perfectly and beautifully you could scrape away the we, we kind of talked about this as we had a look at some of the mold lines they're big so to get a flush fit with a resin model like this you're gonna have to do quite a bit of work of filing away to make sure the join is nice and smooth uh, and then probably use a bit of green stuff or milliput to really get it flush i don't really i'm not that fast actually most of the lines and the gaps are going to be gone when it comes to having primed it having painted it chuck some contrast on you're never going to notice but one thing you can notice immediately with this model is just how massive and cool it is so this guy is absolutely gigantic uh, it's a standard games workshop 40 mil base a proper big guy base but the guy's absolutely massive this is a 40 mil base and he takes up two squares i love this so much so the model is brilliant the sculpt is great the casting quality is really good there's some uh, flash i haven't picked up on in quite a few places that i'm now seeing on the camera but he is massive and it's so good so size comparisons what have i got kicking around i've got a zombie and i thought this was worthwhile sh uh, just showing there that this guy being strength five compared to a games workshop zombie is absolutely massive which is so cool to see but i think what we really want to look at is a games workshop strength five piece for example an ogre so this is one of the ogres from ian wahanam hanam's ogre team and it is from the ogre team and it is a strength five piece and compared to glottal stop that ogre looks like a teeny tiny child and I love it so much. This is one of the biggest and strongest star players in the game. So the fact that he's got one of the biggest, like literally, look at this. If he stood up, this guy would be four inches long. Easy, which is so cool. So size wise, yeah, if you want to look at the top down view, he's imposing as you like. From a side view, he absolutely gargantuan compared to the, uh, the ogre there but it, it works um the pose is fine so if you look at the, the if you put him next door to a dude on a square you would have issues with the tail at times but you know what that happens in blood bowl and all the best models tend to be a little bit too big for the bases so when it comes to glottal stop he is a very cool sculpt comes with the 40 mil base because he is that big the casting's brilliant the posing's brilliant the character is brilliant i really like this forge world model and there you have it glottal stop from forge world um pros awesome pose awesome size awesome casting uh cons 31 pounds so 35 pounds with postage 40 pounds in some place is a lot for a single model this definitely falls into the category of if you want to run him as a star player you can pick up the Croxagore. You can go to Brute Fun and print off one of their Croxagores or go to Grebo Games and order the Krogor Cro Croxagore. There's a lot of different alternatives. Fanath have got a great one too for a third of the price. But if you love Forge World, you love your star players, this is probably one of the top few Croxagore models out there now. The posing's brilliant. I just love everything about it. So this is really cool. £31 does make it quite expensive, so it's definitely not a must-buy. But if you've got a Lizardman team and you want to call Croxagore, if you want a nice painting project for a month, if you want a birthday treat, then actually this is a top-notch. Probably one of my favourite Forge World star players so far. So really good job from them. Got to pay attention to the cost there, and the alternatives are definitely available. There's some very cool ones. In fact... We'll be looking at another cool alternative to Glottal Stop later this week. But for now, I'm going to wrap up. Thank you very much for watching. Let me know what you think of Glottal Stop, the rules, and the Forge World model in the comments below. And we'll be back soon with more Blood Bowl content. Happy blocking. Thanks very much for watching. We really appreciate your support. If you want to support the channel even further, please like and subscribe. It really does help us out. Or come join us on YouTube members or in Patreon, where you can get exclusive access to some content, some loot, early access to basically everything we do, as well as regular competitions. Or you can pick up some Bonehead Podcast loot either on our website at boneheadpodcast.com. We've got the Dungeon Bowl things. We've got tokens and stuff like that. Or on our Spreadshirt site as well. Everything you do just helps us make more content and hopefully do it of better quality. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Happy blocking.